Hello and welcome. So, Unreal Engine 4.27, all preview one, has just landed, and uh, there is a lot of different things. There is no like groundbreaking improvements or anything. It's just a lot of things got a little bit more polished, a little bit more stable. So as you can see, there is this uh, blog post on the news, and there is uh, the announcements and releases on the uh, forums. However. The interesting part for us that is of course who is on mac m1 apple silicon is that the preview one does not actually feature well at least not that they have written about this it doesn't uh, feature the updates for mac m1 as you can see if i just try to you know search for this let's say mac the only thing that is going to pop up is someone asking a question about the mac because Obviously, there is nothing about this. And as you can see, I've loaded the the project I loaded before. And sadly, I gotta say that the Niagara, you know, the basic Niagara level loads okay. Or is it, uh, here we go. However, the Niagara Advanced, um, actually, I succeeded in loading it once. I didn't know. I don't know how I how I did this, but you know, just to be perfectly clear, I initially I was I was successful at loading the Niagara Advanced level. However, I have never um, been successful opening it ever again. Sometimes the editor freezes, and sometimes my Mac locks up and freezes, so I have to hot reset it using the power button, which is not fun. So that's that's the state of Niagara. So basically what I'm trying to say is uh, they did not say that they improved things in the preview number one. And yeah, that's uh, it has the same stability issues as the 426.2. So there you go. Um, I would say it's fine if you start tweaking, I mean, start trying out things in Unreal Engine 5. However, as many you know, previous questions in the comments were asking whether it's actually worth it to do anything on Mac and why and the answer is no, right? So if you are interested in game development, at least with Unreal Engine 4 or 5, in like this summer 2021, I would recommend against going with this solution. If you're getting Mac for something else, sure, go for it. But for game development, this is this is a no-go, right? So there we go. Um, especially considering that Nanite, I, actually I confirmed Nanite does not work. I did the tests. Uh, it's not supported on the GPU. And Lumen doesn't work as well. It just does this weird uh, yellow tinting. So, you know, that's it is how it is. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I know it was a little bit frustrating, a little bit more long that you wanted maybe just to say no but yeah i just wanted to be real clear on a couple of things again if you find this helpful maybe thumbs up if if you have like questions or something to express like your own ideas suggestions feel free to leave the comments below i tried to read everything um maybe i will not uh, reply to everything but uh, i tried to read everything anyway so have a nice day um have a nice development cycle whichever it is mac apple silicon intel amd whatever you're using and yeah uh, see you next one thanks for watching goodbye